Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful Thursday. Well, kind of. Well, it is a good Thursday. I mean, it is It is a little chilly, but yesterday was really cold. Hope you have your coffee this morning or tea or whatever you have. Um, this morning we're dealing with Psalms 139, 23, and 24. Usually stop at 23, but today we're going to hit 24 as well. Check this verse out. It says, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there is any grievous way in me and lead me in the way. So I really love this passage of scripture for a couple of reasons. Uh, you know, it talks about search me and know me, try me and know my thoughts. That very first part of the scripture is, is that one that says, God, but see what's interesting about God already knows us. When we say, God, come in my heart and know me, come and come and be my Lord. We're giving them free access to who we are, right? We're saying, God, you're my king. You're my Lord. You, we're saying this, but there's a point where we think he doesn't know us. There's a point that says, uh, you must not know us. So this passage, which is in the Old Testament, and we're, uh, there's people that says, oh, we're new covenant. We're new Testament Christians. But I'm a whole Bible Christian. Amen. So this, this passage in, in Psalms where it says, search me and know me and try and know my heart. Try and know my thoughts. This aspect is our prayer to the Lord. Man, know me. At that same point is know me so I, and I want to know you. That point, right? And it says, and see if there's any grievous way in me and lead me in, lead me in the way. The way is the, the things of everlasting, that thing, that, that point of that straight and narrow path, that, that point of following him that way, the, the, the way of the word, the way of, of God's word, that, that point, right? But it starts out with that searching, that that deep prayer, that deep way of living, that deep. It's allowing that. Um, I always, I want to, always want to uh, level it up to a brain scan, but it's a really a heart scan, right? A heart scan to, to, to a soul scan to, to just saying, God, check me out. I want to be what you want me to be. I want to be the person that's after your own heart. I want to be exactly what you need me to be. I want to be a total follower of you. And this verse, this passage of scripture is so key. This so, passage is, is such importance to say, God, search me. It's more for you and me than it is for, for the Lord. Saying, God, search me. I'm opening myself. I, I'm saying, God, here I am. Know my heart. Try and know my thoughts. And see if there's any grievous way in me. And lead me. Guide me. Direct me in the way. And how amazing when that all falls into place and you know, and then it comes down to this, the very will of the Father. And you're like, yep, that's it. That's the amazing way. That's what I need to be in. But see, it goes back to this one statement that was in a movie that I've only watched it because it was made for TV. You can't handle the truth. Or can you? That's the question. And so, as you read this passage of scripture, as you dive in the scripture, as you look at this scripture, search me, O God. 
know my heart. Try and know my thoughts and see if there is, there'll be any grievous way in me. Lead me in the way. It's a pretty cool passage of scripture. Challenging me. Hopefully it's challenging you each and every day. Through, through the walk, through the way, right? All right, get out your notebook. Write this verse out. Psalms 139, 23 and 24. Search me, O God, and know my way, heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any grievous way in me and lead me in the way. Write that passage out, put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, pray. So let's pray. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put it in the comment area below. Lord, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you for your word today. Thank you for your challenges today. Lord, we praise you, Lord. Lord, I pray that you just, uh, uh, if there's anyone sick, that you heal their bodies. If there, if there are those that, uh, are well, keep them from being sick. I pray for our government, that Lord, that you give them wisdom. I pray for uh, those that are uh, uh, in the government as they make decisions, give them wisdom. I pray for those that are in need that you provide for them. I pray for the economy that you turn it around. I pray, Lord Jesus, for um, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody, but I also pray that you help us be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. And Lord, I thank you for that. I pray a blessing on those watching now and those watching later. Encourage their heart, Lord, in your name. Amen. Hey, I just want to tell you, this is the last devotion for this week. I pray that you have a blessed day. Uh, also, encourage you want to find a church near you. And uh, may you bless them as you are a blessing to me as you tune in. And uh, please pray as I travel to the first time in Oklahoma. Prue, Oklahoma, can't wait to be with the uh, uh, Prue Assembly of God. Looking forward to being with them this weekend and uh, going to be preaching there. So excited to be in the state of Oklahoma this weekend. And so God bless you. Love you guys. Be praying for that service this Sunday and uh, be in the evening. So God bless you. Love you guys. Uh, just so excited. I'll see you on Monday. Have a blessed, blessed day. God bless you.